हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज नंबर फॉर्मेटर इन पैबली कनेक्ट एंड हाउ इट इज यूज्ड सो नंबर फॉर्मेटर इज अ फीचर ऑफ पैबली कनेक्ट बाय व्हिच वी कैन चेंज और मॉडिफाई द फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ नंबर इनटू वेरियस डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स एंड फॉर्मेट्स नाउ द नंबर कैन बी रिसीव्ड इन पैबली कनेक्ट फ्रॉम एनी एप्लीकेशन एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग दैट हाउ वी कैन चेंज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ नंबर so all these are the features of number format uh, provided by pabli connect the first feature is format a number so using this particular feature a number can be formatted a number can be grouped in thousands separated by commas and spaces the second feature is format a phone number so we can just format a phone number with that we have received from any application the number can be formatted into the national style or the international styles then we have format currency option so the currency can be formatted using this particular option we have perform mathematical operations uh, step also over here this are, this is also one of the feature we can add we can subtract we can multiply divide or we can make the numbers into the negative forms also then we have the counter option by which you can decrement or increment the numbers okay here we have decimal conversion so you can just add the decimal uh, to the number that you have entered into your Uh, workflow then we have minor unit conversion so using this feature a uh, currency can be converted into its minor unit and at last we have the spreadsheet formulas so we have a list of formulas that can be used to format a number as per your requirement so all these are the features of number formatter by pabli connect so you have to come to my screen and let us learn that how all these features works in pabli connect and how number formatter works in pabli connect and it can be used for your uh, workflows and applications so this is the trigger window and this is the action window so you can use any trigger application over here to capture the numbers in pabli connect and you can map those numbers in the action steps as per your requirement So as we are learning the features of number formatter in Pabli Connect, I am directly moving to the action step over here, and I will be entering the data manually. I will be entering the numbers manually. Okay. So the first feature we'll be learning is num format a number. For that, we have to choose the application name as number formatter over here. Select the action event as format number. Click on connect. and now we can see that it is connected now here we have to enter a number that needs to be formatted so i'm just entering the number manually over here let us give it at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and again 1 0 okay so i have entered a random number over here you can map the number from your trigger response as per your requirement now here we have the option of grouping so this particular number will be grouped by the comma so let's click on this save and send test request to see the result Okay and here in the response we can see the result the number is grouped in thousands and separated by a comma okay now we have one more option over here that is space so in place of comma there will be a space between the numbers let us click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the result there is a space between the numbers and the numbers are grouped into the thousands over here so you can use this particular feature as per your requirement okay now the next feature we'll be learning is format a phone number for that we have to click on this plus sign add action step again choose the application as number formatter over here select the action event as format phone number click on connect now here we need to give a phone number so i'm just entering the phone number manually okay and here it is asking to format in which format you want to change this particular number so we have three options over here that is international national and e164 so let's check the international format over here for international we have to give the country code so here the instruction is also mentioned enter iso country code of the given numbers example two digits are required so as we are in india i am entering the country code as in okay and now let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that the format is changed over here and the phone number can be seen with a plus 91 sign over here that is india's country code okay now we are going to change the format to the national format and country code will be in itself and let's click on save and send test request and now we can see that a zero is added to this particular phone number now let us check the e164 format also now let's click on save and send test request 
and now we can see that the phone number is changed into E164 phone format. So in this particular manner, you can just enter your country code and you can format a phone number. Okay. Now let's move to the plus sign once again and click on add actions tip. And this time we'll be learning format currency option. So let us choose the application as number formatter once again. Select the action event as format currency. Click on connect. Now we are connected. Now again we need to give a number over here. So I'm just giving a random number. Let's say 125. Okay. Now it is asking for the currency code. Specify the currency to be used for formatting. Example US dollars for USD for US dollars. INR for Indian rupees. EUR for euro. So you have to enter your country code over here. I am just giving it as INR. Now it is asking currency local. So I am just selecting it as English United States. You can select it as per your requirement if you want to change it. And here the currency format is required. And here we can find all the patterns also. Currency format patterns affect how numbers are interpreted in a localized context. So here we can see that a dot sign shows where the decimal point should go. The comma shows where the thousand separators should go. Zero sign indicates zero padding and hash indicates no padding and even this sign shows where the currency sign will go. So you can select the currency format as per your requirement. First let us check the first one and now let's click on save and send test request. So now we can see that the number 125 that is 125 is changed into the Indian rupees, rupees 125. Now I am just changing the format from here. Let's again click on save and send test request. And now we can see that the decimal points are added. Uh, rupees 125.00. If I change the format over here, let's check what is the result. We have got only 125.00. The rupee sign is rep uh, removed from the number. And if I change the currency code from here to USD, then US dollar sign will be reflected over here. I am just changing the format also. Okay. Now let's check by clicking on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the result $125. If I change the currency format, it will be $125.00. So, in this particular manner, the number can be formatted into a currency format over here. Okay, now we have one more feature over here that is clone step. So, if you want to clone or copy this particular step, you can use this particular feature that is clone step. Now, it is asking clone step. Please make sure to save the module before cloning. Okay, let's click on clone now. Clone step successfully. Okay, so when we scroll down, we can find the same step copied over here. Format currency and again format currency. And the actions are also same, that is number formatter. So I'm just going to change the action even from here. And this time I'm just going to select it as perform math operation. Let's click on connect. And now it is connected. And now it is asking for the numbers. Enter multiple numbers with comma separated. So I am just going to give the number as 25 comma 5. Okay. Now it is asking the operation. What do you want to do with these two numbers? So I want to add these two numbers. Let's click on save and send test request. And in the result we will get 25 plus 5 is 30. Okay. We can see the number as 30 over here. Now I am just going to change the operation to subtract. Let's check the result. We will get the result as 20. So 5 will be subtracted from 25 and the result is 20. Now let us multiply this number. So 25 into 5 will give 125. Now let us divide this number. And we will get the result as 5 over here. Okay. And at last we have the operation as make negative. So both the numbers will get negative using this particular operation. Let's check it. Okay, and here we can see that we have given the numbers that is 25 and 5. And in the result, we have got minus 25 and minus 5. So in this particular manner, the for perform math operation feature can be used. Okay, now we have another feature that is counter. So I'm just going to clone the step one more time. And when we scroll down, we can find perform math operations steps two times. I am just going to change the actions even from here and let us select it as counter this time. Click on connect. Now here we have to give initial value. 
enter initial value from where the counting will begin. So, I am giving the number as 1. Okay. Now, it is asking operation. What do you want to do with this number? You want to increment for the counting or you want to decrement? We have both the options over here. So, first let us check it for increment. Now, change value by. Enter change by value like 1. So, how much value you want to change it? So, I am just going to give it as 1. Okay. So, 1 operation will be increment. So, it will be added and again a number 1 will be added. So, it will become 2. Okay. If you want to recent on execution, then you can select it as per your requirement. Select yes if you want to reset the final value to the initial value on each execution of the step or else select no. So, I am just keeping it as no. And now it is asking reset counter after reaching a certain final value. So, after reaching 5, the counter should get reset. Okay. Now, let us check it by clicking on save and send test request. And here we can got the result. Initial value is 1. It is changed by 1 value. So, 1 plus 1 gives the final value as 2. Let us click on save and send one more time. Now, we have got the final value as 3. Now, we have got the final value as 4. So, the numbers are incrementing by 1. We have given the change by value as 1 over here. So, you can see the numbers are getting changed by the value 1. Let us click on save and send one more time. And now the result is 5. The final value is 5 over here. So, we have given the option that is reset counter after reaching a final value. So, it has reached the final value of 5. Now, let us check what happens. And now we can see that the final value is 1 once again. So, it has reset the counter and it will keep on resetting the counter after reaching the value of 5. Okay. Let us check it one more time. 3, this time 4. 5 and now again we can see that it has reached the value of 1. So, in this manner the counter gets on counting the number and number 1 is added to the number every time. So, this particular counter feature can be used for the round robin process also. So, let us take an example that you are assigning the task to you 3 team members okay, and you want to assign them task continuously. So, the first task will be assigned to the first team member, the second task will be assigned to the second team member, the third task will be assigned to the third team member and if we reset the counter after 3, then again the fourth task will get assigned to the first team member and in this way the task will get assigned to your team members. So, a round robin process can be followed over here by using this particular feature that is counter of number formatter. So, if the concept of counter and round robin is not clear to you. So, I have attached a dedicated video in the i button that how round robin and counter works in Public Connect. So, you can watch the video and still if you face some issues, you can comment and our team will provide you a full support. Okay. Now, let us move to the next feature. For that, we have to clone the step. So, I am just going to click on clone step option. Let us click on clone now. Okay, let's scroll down and here we are going to change the action event from counter to decimal conversion. Okay, we'll be using the decimal conversion. Let's click on connect. And now here again we need to give a number. So I'm just going to give the number as 5000. Okay, now it is asking the decimal length. Enter the decimal length. Example 2, 3, 4. If you enter 45, and enter the decimal length to 3, then the number will be converted to 3 decimal places like 45.3 zeros. So, I am just giving the decimal length as 1 over here. Let us click on save and send test request. So, we can see the result as 5000.0. If I give the decimal length as 2, then it will be 5000.00. If I give the dec decimal length as 3, then it will be 5000.000. So, in this way, we can add the decimal length to the specified number. Okay. Now, let us move to the next feature by clicking on this plus sign add action step or you can clone the step also. We do not need to select the application again and again. Okay. And this time, we are going to select the action event as minor unit conversion. So, we have done counter decimal conversion also. We will be moving to minor unit conversion. Let us click on connect and now we are connected. Now it is asking amount, number you would like to format as a minor unit currency. So, I am just giving the number as 1. Okay. 
just for uh, explaining you and here we have to give the currency code so i'm just entering the currency code as inr and in the description it is mentioned that specify the currency to be used for converting an example usd inr ur so in this particular three digit manner we have to give the currency code and now let's click on save and send test request and here we have got minor unit amount as 100 so 1 rupee is equal to 100 paisa so here the minor unit is converted if i give the amount as 50 over here the minor unit will be converted so 50 into 100 gives the result as 5000 paisa so in this way you can enter your currency code and you can get the minor unit amount over here okay now let's clone the step one more time and now we will be learning spreadsheet formulas so i have to just change the action event and i'm just selecting spreadsheet formulas over here let's click on connect and it is connected now now here we have to enter the formula you can use any spreadsheet formula to get the results example round up and if this particular number is mentioned and uh, the formula is given then the number will be round up so we have a full list over here I'm just going to click on check full list here and we have specified the full list of formulas over here so you can use the formulas as per your requirement okay so if I enter the formula as day 15th April in this particular manner if I enter the formula over here okay and I'm just going to change the date from here let's give the date as 10th and instead of April I'm just going to give it as May and instead of 11 let's give it as 22 then the day will be uh, extracted and in the response we have got the result as day that is 10th okay so this formula is working so we have a list of formulas let us check it for some other formula okay I'm just going to select today formula so I'm just going to copy it and I'm entering it over here in my formula field and now let's click on save and send test request so we have got today's date and time over here okay and let's say check some more formulas over here I'm just going to scroll down and let us check the right formula also yes so let's select the formula and let us paste it over here and instead of sale price I'm giving a number over here so let's give a random number I have a big number and I want 10 numbers to be extracted from this particular number and the 10 numbers should be from the right side okay so let's click on save and send test request and in the result we can see that the 10 numbers are extracted from the given number from the right side so in this way you can select any formula from the available list over here and you can use it in your workflow as per your requirement so let's move back to public connect and now I'm going to minimize all the windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay so I'll just scroll up okay so here you can use any trigger application to capture the numbers in public connect you can use application as per your requirement so the first feature we have learned was format number so the number was formatted it was grouped by the commas and the spaces then we have learned format phone number so the phone number was formatted into a specific style that is international national then we have formatted the currency then we have performed the mathematical operations also if you want to add the numbers we want to subtract the numbers then we have learned the counter that the counter can be decreased or the counter can be increased as per your requirement then we have learned the decimal conversions then we have also learned minor unit conversions and at last we have learned the feature of spreadsheet formulas so in this particular manner we have learned all the features of number formatter provided by public connect so not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.